Although a diver's trim constitutes the second pillar of scuba diving, it often remains an unfamiliar term to many divers. Regrettably, due to rushed schedules and inadequate training, trim is frequently overlooked and neglected. Nevertheless, mastering trim is crucial for achieving efficient energy utilization, reducing air consumption, and ensuring optimal underwater responsiveness, all while contributing to the preservation of the delicate underwater environment. Trim, which is often misunderstood as simply being horizontal in the water, goes beyond that simplistic notion. It embodies the essence of balance for a diver. True trim means achieving a state of equilibrium where the diver can maintain any body position neutrally buoyant without unnecessary movements that counteract the imbalance. Proper trim in diving is about achieving a delicate balance where a diver stays stable without body tilting while being relaxed with just enough lower back tension. Typically, divers tend to wear all the available lead around their waist. However, this placement often falls short of the ideal because it rarely aligns precisely with the diver's overall body balance, especially when considering the additional gear they wear. You have various options to distribute weights across your gear. In addition to using a weight belt, you can place weights in trim pockets specially designed to attach to the cam bands. Another approach is to fasten an extra tank band to the lower section of your cylinder if you want to position some weight below your waist. Additionally, you have the option to secure weights directly to your backplate or thread them through your harness webbing. The crucial goal is to evenly distribute the weight to achieve balance. It is of utmost importance to stress the need to work with the appropriate amount of weight, which should not exceed what the diver requires as determined through proper weight checking exercises. Avoid adding any extra lead as this would cause the diver to become overweighted, which is far more detrimental than not being in trim. To achieve optimal trim, you should commence with the trim checking exercise to evaluate your current condition before making adjustments to your weight distribution. To perform this exercise, it's essential to align yourself parallel to the ground while simultaneously relaxing your feet and arms. Keep slight tension in your lower back, but avoid resisting when your body begins to lean in a specific direction. If your weight placement is off, you will begin tilting in a certain direction in the video, the diver is shown with four separate one kilogram block of weight placed in pockets fastened to the lower cam band around the cylinder. This setup mimics the common situation where a diver carries all their available weight in a single location, usually around the waist. As evident from the video, this situation is less than optimal as the diver struggles to maintain the desired trim and tends to tilt backwards. Now let's examine the impact of repositioning the weight on the diver. To determine the ideal weight placement, it is recommended to take half of the weight and gradually adjust its position along the torso while remaining relaxed in order to discover the precise location where the diver achieves perfect balance. Take some time to experiment with this to truly sense the distinction before determining the ideal equilibrium point. It's crucial to avoid using your legs to adjust your body's tilt as this can lead to inaccurate outcomes. As you can observe in this scenario, the optimal position for trim weights is precisely aligned with the lower edge of the shoulder blades, allowing the diver to maintain perfect balance parallel to the seabed while clutching the weights against the chest. After pinpointing the correct position, it's time to secure the trim weight to your gear. There are various approaches to affixing trim weights, including utilizing trim pockets on your cam bands or fastening them directly to your backplate using a couple of zip ties. Just ensure they are firmly and securely attached. The key consideration when selecting the ideal placement is that the weight should be positioned as close to your body as possible, since that's where your center of gravity resides. Fins are frequently underestimated, yet they play a significant role in a diver's trim because they possess distinct buoyancy attributes based on their material composition. While conducting the trim check exercise, if you observe your legs sinking or your body tilting backwards, and you've already redistributed your weight as demonstrated earlier, it might be worthwhile to assess your fins and, if necessary, replace them to achieve the desired balance. As noted earlier, it's perfectly acceptable to employ innovative approaches when your gear setup necessitates unconventional weight distribution, such as threading weights onto your harness webbing, similar to what you observe here on the crotch straps. Nevertheless, it's essential to bear in mind that these weights should always be positioned in close proximity to your body to ensure your stability remains uncompromised. Thanks for watching and hope you learned something. 
consider subscribing to Flow State Divers to become part of the community of conscious divers and to get notified on our upcoming content. Thank <laughs> you.